we're talking to the curator and also the proprietor of Allegro La Viola Gallery. Tell us about the show briefly, Off the Wall. The notion is that Off the Wall has a double meaning of being a little bit zany and strange and also being works that come off the wall. So the idea is that the works are somewhat sculptural but are still attached to the wall. How that, how that now is it, is it all lady artists? It is all lady artists. What, is, what does that say? Doesn't that have yes, some kind of implication about nothing at all. the ladies are off the wall? No, just kind of, you know, it just happened to work out that all the work that I liked was by lady artists. But you know what, I bet you wouldn't be asking me that question if it was all dudes. I would be, <laughs> but you'd be answering it more honestly. I am answering it okay, honestly. Okay, yes, yes, all Come right. <laughs> Thanks, Allegra. Well, we're going to start out and take some glances at work by Doreen McCarthy. This is similar order number 27 SF cellulose propanate. And I think Doreen probably enjoys working with these uh, plastic synthetic colors as much as she does the, uh, the malleability and the pliability of the materials. Take a look at some work by Gila Penn. This piece is titled Scribble. Monofilament nylon mesh and plastic tubing. This is Big Scribble, which is also mono monofilament plastic mesh and pipe cleaner. I like the plastic mesh. A lot of people say Gila's work is a lot like drawing in space. And this large installation piece is titled Suddenly. This is great. She's actually incorporating pieces of the architecture into the piece. This is nice when you get to see Gila open up and really lay claim to a whole bunch of space in the corner. We're playing with the volume. Look at some works by Ellen Mardahl. This is child, titled Child's Desires. I like this. It's called Comic Figure Number Two. Textile Collage. This is a wonderful, colorful <laughs> triptych of dresses, maybe kimonos, by Nicole Barrick. Cult of Minerva robe, fabric paint and dye on robe. This piece is titled Lovers. And this is not only off the wall, this is off the rack. I would like to see somebody come in and put these on and walk out. It's also by Nicole Barrett, and it's called Bird on a Wire, and it's composed of human hair, horse hair, and bone. It's a very nicely detailed ceramics by Amanda Smith. Titled Hot Punch. And Amanda has got some very uh, beautifully detailed figure drawing in here. It's a 
nice relief work. Now we're looking at some pieces by Gay Savannah. She's titled Rido. And I think Gay might be perhaps the best example of what Allegra was talking about when she was saying that she thought a lot of these lady artists were using some real, real flashy, bright, playful materials and uh, had a little more aggressive aesthetic than some of the men. This is titled of La Tame, and it's jaw clips, wire, bamboo, and acrylic. Some pretty jazzy stuff. Oh, there's Gay Savannah herself. Congratulations. These are some pieces by Grace Sutton. These are pigment ink on silk. I think that these definitely recall the uh, pattern decorative work that was being done in the late 70s. People like Robert Kirshner and Ron Davies. These are also by Grace Sutton. And their cutouts, ink and colored pencil on mylar. She's got these cutouts and they're floating about uh, an inch above the back support so you have shadows onto the white backing. This is titled Studio Number 7. So this is a quick run through of Off the Wall the Allegra La Viola Gallery, 179 East Broadway, downtown New York. Thanks, Kate.